Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, blue triangle uh, ABC fully inscribed uh, in a circle uh, with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, blue triangle ABC is uh, 81 uh, centimeter square. Its uh, side length uh, AB is uh, 18, and its uh, side length uh, AC is uh, 15 centimeter. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. I have dropped a perpendicular uh, CD on this uh, line AB, as you can see. And now let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, perpendicular CD as uh, lowercase uh, h and h stands for height of this uh, blue triangle and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABC and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times uh, height and in our case uh, the area of this uh, blue triangle ABC is uh, 81 its uh, base uh, is uh, 18 and the height is h so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula our area is 81 equals to a half times our base is 18 times our height is h and now we are going to solve for h 81 equal to on the right hand side 18 divided by 2 is 9 times h let's divide both sides by 9 so therefore our h value turns out to be 9 centimeter so thus our height h turns out to be 9 centimeter and now let's focus on this right triangle adc whose side lengths are 9 and this longest leg is 15 and now we are going to calculate uh, this uh, side length uh, AD. And now let's recall the Pythagorean uh, triplets uh, 3, 4 and uh, 5. Let's go ahead and multiply all these numbers uh, by 3. Then after a multiplication of 3, this 3 is going to become 9, 4 is going to become 12 and 5 is going to become 15. So in our case we got this uh, 9 and this is a 15 so therefore uh, this uh, unknown side length AD is going to be 12 uh, centimeter and now we know that this uh, whole uh, code AB is uh, 18 this uh, length uh, is uh, 12 so therefore uh, this uh, length uh, BD is going to be 18 minus 12 is going to give us uh, 6 uh, centimeter and here's our next step I have drawn this uh, diameter uh, CE that passes through this uh, center O and then I have connected uh, this uh, point E with this uh, point uh, A as you can see and now let's recall the Thales uh, theorem according to this theorem uh, if E, A and C are uh, three distinct points on the circle where the line uh, E, C is a diameter then the angle uh, E, A, C is a right uh, angle as you can see in our diagram, we got uh, C, A, E, three points on this uh, circle, and this uh, E, C is a diameter, so no wonder this angle uh, is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, triangle uh, E, A, C is a right uh, triangle. And now let's recall uh, inscribed angles theorem. According to this theorem, uh, inscribed angle that intercept uh, the very same arc uh, are uh, congruent and now let's focus on these uh, two angles angle E and this uh, angle uh, B and both of uh, these angles uh, make uh, this very same uh, arc as you can see so therefore we conclude that these angle uh, AEC and this angle uh, DBC are uh, congruent and furthermore uh, this uh, angle uh, in this uh, triangle uh, E, A, C and this uh, another angle uh, in this uh, triangle uh, B, D, C are uh, congruent as well since uh, these uh, other angle is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore we conclude that these uh, triangle uh, E, A, C and this uh, 
uh, the triangle uh, BDC are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem. And now let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, side length uh, AE as uh, our X. And now we are going to solve for this uh, X. So therefore we are going to have a proportion uh, in these two similar triangles. In other words, uh, the ratio of X uh, and 15 uh, is going to be equal to the ratio of 6 and 9. So therefore let me go ahead and write down x divided by 15 equal to 6 divided by 9. Let me go ahead and multiply both sides by 15 to isolate x and here 15 and 15 is gone so x turns out to be equal to 6 times 15 is 90. 90 divided by 9 is going to give us 10 centimeters. So therefore our this length AE turns out to be 10 centimeters. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this right triangle EAC whose side lengths are 15 and 10. And now we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate this side length EC. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call our longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a in our case 10. So it's going to become 10 square plus b is 15 square equal to c square. So therefore our c square value turns out to be 300 and uh, 25. Let me go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore uh, our length uh, c turns out to be square root of uh, 325. So thus we can see that this uh, ec length uh, turns out to be square root of 325 as you can see over here and that is also our diameter so therefore the radius of this circle is going to be half of this uh, diameter let me go ahead and label uh, radius r equals to square root of uh, 325 divided by 2 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equals to pi r square in our case our radius uh, r is uh, square root of 325 divided by 2. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. Uh, so the area of uh, this uh, circle is going to be pi times uh, r in our case is square root of 325 divided by 2 whole uh, square and if we simplify the right hand side uh, area of this uh, circle is going to be 325 pi divided by 4 and that is going to be equal to 81.25 pi. So thus the area of this uh, circle turns out to be 81.25 pi centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.